Uganda People's Defense Force Major and five other Ugandan officials arrested in Kenya. Hello, welcome. Thanks for joining us live on Projan Media TV. That brings the latest news and the latest updates in the country and across the world. Kindly do one thing, subscribe, turn on the notification button. All these updates will come to you in time. But let's take more look into some of these details. A senior Uganda People's Defense Force officer, three top officials from the Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries are among six Ugandans who were last evening arrested by the Kenya security officials at the Bushia, Kenya border amid an ongoing fish row between the two countries. The officials include Major Robert Ariho attached to the Fish Protection Unit as Entebbe, at Entebbe, Mr. Paul Okwara, a principal secretary of fisheries, Mr. Simon Jonan Imongot, a fisheries inspector at Busia Border, and Mr. Egwene Egese, the Busia District Fisheries Officer, Mr. John Michael Amodoi, a clearing agent at the Busia Border, and one other unidentified official said to be a Uganda People's Defense Force soldier. The six Ugandans were arrested at the office of Kenya Revenue Authority, manager after crossing the border as they waited to meet some Kenyan authorities over fish trade. The officials were handcuffed by the Kenyan police and taken out to the customs premises and marched to a waiting police car before they were whisked off to Busia Kenya Police Station under unclear circumstances. Kenya authorities remained tight-lipped on the arrest which Ugandan officials said was as a result of miscommunication between country officials. Kindly note that the said officials are not in the police custody. The incident was as a result of miscommunication between country officials mm -hmm. and this was however resolved and the officials allowed to go about their business and the Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries tweeted this on Saturday evening in response to their tweet about the officials arrest. In a boat crossing the border, the Ugandan officials had been laid across the Kenyan border by Ms. Florence Atieno, the Kenyan National Cross Border Women Chairperson, to inspect and ascertain the quality of fish in Busia, Kenya market with a view of clearing its export to Democratic Republic of Congo, allegedly on orders of Uganda's fisheries state minister, Ms. Helen Adoa. They arrived there several hours back and they have been waiting to be cleared by the Kenyan authorities to have a meeting and look at the fish in their market, but everybody they were trying to contact said it is a weekend and Major General Ariho was heard complaining. The meeting between the Ugandan officials and the KRA manager at first appeared cordial as the Ugandan officials requested to have a look at the fish to ascertain its size before clearing it for export. Drama, however, started unfolding when a group of Kenyan fish exporters gathered at the office and started accusing Ugandan officials of impounding their fish, which was en route to Democratic Republic of Congo, at the Mpondwe border post in Kasese district. Then they claim they say these are the guys who impounded and gave out their fish. They either killed them before leaving there or they returned the fish. One trader was heard shouting at the top of his voice. The situation worsened when the Kenyan traders attempted to force their way into the room where the Ugandan officials were seated claiming they were being made to repay back loans they got for their businesses yet. Their fish was impounded by cartels in Uganda, led by some traders who are working with the Ugandan army. They have lost all the hope. All their fish was given out by these guys, and they have lost everything, including their livelihoods, and cannot afford to provide a meal for their families and it is better they kill the officials and chop them to pieces so that each of them carries a piece of their flesh home for a meal, as another trader shouted. 
and journalists were threatened with the arrest and this reporter who was at the border as the drama unfolded was stopped from taking pictures by customs local guard and threatened with arrest and moments later security operatives in plain clothes and the kenya administration police armed with ak-47 assault rifles deployed and surrounded the office of the kra manager and one kenyan security officer was overheard speaking on phone before he later walked into the room where the ugandan officials had been locked order and ordered for their arrest they were handcuffed and marched out to a waiting police patrol car and whisked to busia kenya police station as the ugandan officials were being whisked away kenya traders ran after the patrol car patrol car in jubilation saying it was time the ugandan officials realized Kenya had a tougher security team. Mr. David Ogea, one of the fish traders, said it was unfair for the Ugandan authorities to impound their fish, which was in transit to Democratic Republic of Congo. Therefore, they added on saying that these men are here, but they don't know how they are suffering because of their actions. They have lost all of their capital, which they acquired as bank loans their properties are being taken by the banks as they watch because of some careless actions of the ugandan officials as mr ogea said another trader by the names of mr hassan omar told the source that they had close to 400 tons of fish stuck in their stores in burumba and in the market because they can't risk exporting the fish to the Democratic Republic of Congo after Ugandan authorities threatened to have all the Kenyan fish intercepted in Uganda. They have lost, uh, they have a lot of fish in their stores, both in Urumba and Busia market because the minister, that is Adoa, said Kenyan fish would not be allowed on the Ugandan roads. The officials were reportedly released in the evening following the intervention of Busia RDC Mr. John Rex Achila and some border agents, Miss Atieno said the interception of the Kenyan fish, which was on transit to Congo, amounted to a non tariff barrier violation and that it violated international treaty, uh, treaties on new goods and transit. They have been talking about elimination of NTBs, but it seems Uganda is not ready to implement, as he said. Ms. Adua last month said the fish traders were conniving with the fish inspectors to deal in illegal fish. According to her, the fish consignment was intercepted in Uganda because it had immature fish that had been smuggled from Uganda to Kenya where it was repackaged. Uh, the fish traders are Ugandans, and now the people who are demonstrating at the borders are not Kenyans and there is no Kenyan fish there. The fish rope between Uganda and Kenyan traders escalated last month when Ugandan authorities intercepted fish from Kenyan traders at Impondwe border post in Kasese. The fish was en route to Democratic Republic of Congo. Whereas Kenyan, of, uh, Kenyan fish exporters say the fish was from Lake Tokana and the Ugandan authorities and the Ministry of Fisheries have kept a strong stance claiming the fish was from Lake Choga, which had been smuggled through the porous borders into Kenya processed and repackaged by the Kenyan traders. The seizure of the fish threatens to draw Kampala and Nairobi into another trade row following the former's ban on Ugandan goods in recent years including milk, sugar, sugarcane, eggs, and most recently maize grains on grounds that they were substandard. Uh, well, that is it for now, and we'll keep on updating with more of this. Just kindly do one thing, subscribe, turn on the notification button. All these updates will come to you in time. Once again, thanks for watching Projan Media TV.